Russian R-3 ICBM is the largest currently deployed missile. It is over 106 feet long and 10 feet in diameter. Its throw weight is more than 100,000 kilograms. So, it is the heaviest ICBM in the world. It is also the world's longest range ICBM with a range of 16,000 kilometers. The R-36 Mod 5 version is designed to carry up to 10 warheads. It also carry approximately 40 penetration aids, making interception very difficult. The R-36 became the base for the Cyclone launch vehicles family. The two-stage rocket is powered by liquid rocket engines providing a speed of about March 23rd. Combined with its high speed, throw weight and projected payload, it was considered to be a first strike weapon in the 1980s. Because the unique launch method, it has a reload capability most other items don't have. The missile is normally stored in a container within the silo. Upon launch, the missile is ejected out of the silo by a piston that is pushed by a black powder charge. The missile's engines ignite above the ground after leaving the silo. What this means is that the silo itself is not damaged by the launching of the missile like a hot launch would. It is possible that the spent container be removed and a new loaded container inserted into the silo in a very short period of time. Missiles of the R-36 family have never been deployed with more than 10 warheads. But given their large throw weight, they have the capacity to carry considerably more detonation power. Five different versions of the missile were considered. Three of these versions would carry regular warheads 3,250 kD yield, 24,500 kD yield, or 15 to 17 1 t yield. Two modifications were supposed to carry guided warheads 28,250 kD or 19,500 kD. Note that the explosion in Hiroshima is only 15 kD. Dear viewer, what would happen if Russia launched this monster with its maximum payload?